Hello everyone, this is Hepta here from ZMeds and today we are going to talk about Fencidar. Well, first of all, we will see the composition of Fencidar. Fencidar is a combination of two drugs. Number one is pyramethamine with the strength of 25 mg and second is the sulfadoxine with the strength of the 500 mg. Now let's see the indications in which the Fencidar is used. So number one is the acute malaria and number two is the prophylactic use for the malaria. It means when you're going to travel to the country where malaria is a dominant disease, then you have to take one or two tablets of the Fencidar one or two days before traveling. Now let's talk about the dose of the Fencidar in case of acute malaria well there are two kinds of patients we will see number one adults and number two pediatrics in case of adults the dose is simply two to three tablets and in case of pediatrics we have to divide the dose according to the weight of the patient well if the weight of the patient is more than 45 then we have to give three tablets to the patient and if the weight is between 31 to 45 we have to reduce the dose to two tablets and if it is between the 21 to 30 then we have to give the dose of one tablet one and a half tablet and if the patient has the weight of between uh, 10 to 20 or 11 to 20 then we have to give only one tablet to the patient and if it is less than 10 only half tablet will be enough for the pediatric patients we have to see the dose for the prophylactic use in malaria well again we have to divide it into two categories number one for the adult number two for the pediatric patients well adults will take one tablet in one week and two tablets for two weeks and in case of pediatric patients we have the same chart of the weight but not of the same dose well this time we will start from the one and a half tablet for the weight over 45 kg we will have the one and a half tablet and uh, for the weight between a 30 to 45 or 31 to 45 there will be only one tablet and then for the patients having the weight between the 21 and 30 we will have the dose of uh, three parts of one tablet and if the weight is between 11 to 20 then the dose will be half a tablet and if the weight is less than 10 then we will prescribe the dose of about one part of the whole tablet well very short profile of side effects is associated with Fencidar. It consists of Steven Johnson syndrome, anemia, exofoliated dermatitis, urticaria, and peripheral neuritis. Fencidar is contraindicated in pregnancy with the category C. Here we have the RBC. In the RBC, you can see the parasite which causes the malaria, and inside the parasite, you will see the dihydropyrate diphosphate along with para amino benzoic acid is converted into dihydropyrate synthetase enzyme into dihydrofolate or dihydrofolic acid well this dihydrofolic acid is actually then converted into the tetrahydrofolate or tetrahydrofolic acid with the help of the enzyme dihydrofolate reductase well, this tetrahydrofolate is then converted into the amino acids and purines or pyrimidines which cause the growth and reproduction of the parasite. As a result, there will be more and more parasites available to cause the infection. Well, what is the action of the Fencidar? So number one, we have the sulfadoxine. Sulfadoxine blocks the synthetase enzyme and hence there will be no path pathway. And then we have the pyrimethamine. Pyrimethamine blocks the reductase enzyme 
and then there will be no formation of the pyrimidines purines and amino acids well there is one thing worthy mentioned here that pyrimethamine can be used alone as well but it can cause the development of the resistance of the enzyme enzyme can be mutated and resistance can be created well reductase can be mutated and as a result pyrimethamine can get resistant so there will be no effect of pyrimethamine on reductase enzyme and hence alone therapy cannot be given to the patient so that is why sulfadoxine is given along with pyrimethamine here comes the end of the malaria series in which we have uh, explained the malaria completely then we went for the life cycle of the malaria and now we have discussed about the treatment as well that's it from today we will meet you with another video until next time it's sohib tahir from zmeds signing out